Steve Wilkes. How is he different than um, D'Amico, uh, just in, in terms of, uh, is he kind of more critical uh, of, of you guys? Is, it, is the coaching uh, harder, more difficult? Uh, I, would, I would say it's more technical. Um, with just uh, him emphasizing us using our weapons, our hands, eyes, feet, and hips. So uh, he's just more more technical in the different in that way. You mentioned you felt like you were playing with a lot more confidence, and even what what you could see on tape from last year. How much did you know playing as much as you did and, and having the success you did down the stretch kind of help you in coming back here? Uh, I mean, the game slowed down a lot for me, uh, just with getting the reps all last year. Uh, so this year, I think it's just time to take a next, that next step and just be one of the best corners in the league. I mean, that's my goal. What are the things that you think you need to do to take that next step? Uh, just finishing at level three, um, playing the ball down the field. I feel like I struggled last year with playing the ball down the field. Uh, just, just trying to track the ball and just, <clears throat> just, uh, just playing with confidence. Um, well, he's the top ten corner in the league in my eyes. Uh, he guards the number one receiver uh, every week, uh, performs, and he does his job job at a, a very high level. So I got much respect for him, and and I know that he's one he won my best entrance. So that's like a big brother to me. Anything in particular that Steve Wilkes has kind of started to teach you since he's been here? Yeah, um, his main focus when he first got here, uh, he told we uh, we watched a couple get better plays that I had from last season, and it was just mainly reading reading the chest reading the chest area, the breastplate, um, being able to locate down the field, and just finishing on the ball. What's been your impression? Of, he seems pretty hands on and you know adjust things as they're happening. What's been your uh, I mean, I'm very, I'm, I was very impressed. You know, he like, he like the Godfather of the DBs. You know, uh, like, you know, he got every answer, and he always a positive person. You know, like, he, I mean, I, there was plays that I, I didn't gave up in OTAs, and then it was never like a, a real like breaking me down. It was always bringing me up and just t- t- telling me, you know, how I could, how I could be better. So, uh, you know, I'll take, I'll take my hat off to him. Diameter, you look a little stronger this year. How have you spent your off season? Where did you train, and what kind of things were you doing? Uh, I was at uh, down in Los Angeles, California, at uh, the Mamba Mentality facility. Um, I was training over there um, because pre-draft. That's where, that's kind of where I trained pre-draft. I was there, and then I was in Vegas at Phase One, so I was kind of familiar with the staff over there. So I just trained out there. Have you put on some weight? Oh yeah, I'm, I think I leaned out a little bit more. Uh, last year I was at. I want to say 202, like right now I'm 195. So I feel like I'm more fluid and, you know, moving better and running better. When you say that Steve Wilkes is sort of breaking you down, he builds you up, is that something different than you experienced the last time? Uh, no, I mean, uh, I'm a coachable person. So like, I know when a coach is coaching me hard, he's not trying to like tear me down for real. He just, you know, he's trying to bring the best out of me, you know, and that's like some players, they that's how they operate. and. I'm kind of one of those players, but at the same time, if you if you bring positivity, I'm I'm also react too. Isaiah Oliver seems like a especially big and, and physical nickel. What, what does that add to your secondary? The fact that you've got a, a veteran there with extra size this year. Uh, a lot of versatility. I mean, he can play inside, inside and outside. You know, uh, uh, me coming out of high school, I actually. Uh, he actually, I actually shadowed him when he was at Colorado when I uh, was with uh, Coach Levitt and Coach Clark. So we was kind of coached by the same people. So I know, I, I kind of know his movement, movement skills and stuff, and I know what he can, what, he, what he capable of. It seems like you're out at practice, you're playing a little faster, a little having a little bit more fun. Is that true? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, when the defense wins, days, you know, you, you got to smile because you know the offense coming back with firepower too. Uh, the toughest receiver, Brandon Ayu, you know, uh, we've been having our battle since college. So, uh, you know, he's he's been uh, he's he's going to be a top five receiver in this league this year. He's going to play everybody on notice. I feel like he's been so underrated. 
um, he really don't get the credit that he deserved. Seems like he's taking his game up a level. This, this OCA's is it? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. You know, uh, he's more smooth about his breaks. Uh, his release package is unmatched. Um, just being able to, when you're downfield, not always trying to locate the receiver. Like last year, I was trying to locate the receiver instead of filling the receiver and then tracking the ball. So I think that was like my biggest thing of why I gave up a lot of plays down the field. And is that part of, is that part of confidence, like trusting you'll know where the receiver is and then being able to look at the ball? Yeah, for sure. And that only comes with reps. Um, you know, just like, it was a couple plays I had, uh, along with AJ Green. I think it was like I uh, missed time to jump, jump too early, the one with Devontae Adams. Um, I really misjudged the ball and you know, he just made a great play. All right, thanks, Nemo. Thank you. Thank you.